Hey everybody, so just a couple days later here and look at the purple cardoon flower that bloomed. So it's starting to get to that time and it kind of goes right from the top and makes a big bloom. And so the rest of them hopefully will be opening up and it's kind of a unusual flower that all the bees and everything likes. So there's kind of an update on the cardoon flowers blooming. Hey everybody, so kind of in the back here where we have the blackberries and the rest, you can see that the blackberries are ripe, right? So they're getting a whole bunch of dark black, so they're ready to be picked. I want to give them just maybe one more day to get full ripeness before the birds start eating them. But... What I think it's time to do is the potatoes. They're basically done. I've had them in there for a couple months now, at least 90 days. And you can see they're falling over. They're starting to turn yellow. And it's the middle of the May. This bed has to be dug up because the sweet potatoes have to go in its place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up the um, leaves here. And let's see what kind of potatoes we have underneath. Are they small? Are they big? Has any of the animals dug them up before I can get them. We'll see what kind of harvest we have. The plants have been taller than I've ever had, so that's a good sign. But we'll see what happened underneath the ground with the potatoes in this container. So I'm going to pause it here, take out the leaves, take out the next steps. Okay, so I pulled the potato plants, the vines, just out of the ground just to get them out of my way and a few potatoes came with it now these are the ones that pulled out but i'm going to check now to see which ones are still in the ground okay so i got the uh drip line here i might have to move that out of the way but you can see that a few of them pulled up some nice big ones like this one some red ones and some little ones and then you can see here that if I kept them in the ground longer, they were starting to sprout more little potatoes. But I have to move them out now. And so I'm going to dig further and collect all the potatoes that are hiding under the ground. So I'll do that in a minute. Okay, folks. Cleaned out the bed. And that's the potatoes I have. So, really... Not a bad harvest, I'll take this, right? They were all kind of hidden underneath when I pulled the vines. And the reds did better than the white potatoes. Maybe I had more red plants, or maybe they just spread more, but the reds were at one end of the bed and the white potatoes were at the other end. So that's, oh, at least 20 pounds, if not more, of red and white potatoes. That's not too bad of a harvest from here. Now, would I have liked more? Sure. As I was digging through, there were some gaps between the plants. So basically, um, wherever the plant was, the potatoes were in that area. So however they were spaced, they didn't really spread out laterally, you know, to the rest of the garden bed nor did they go really deep I mean this is a deep you know wooden uh, raised bed here at least 12 inches but they were all within the first um, you know probably three inches they didn't go very deep now if I would have maybe did a mounding process where then you know how they show you then you keep filling in and filling in the leaves and then they grow more out of the side shoots that may be a way of increasing the production and technically growing in a box or a tall vertical might be the way to go but for the bed like this you know hey it's better than nothing they look all healthy I got them before anybody else ate them so that's not too bad um, there's some potatoes in here mixed in with the sun chokes and <laughs> it's gonna be hard to dig those out but I'll try because uh, I had some leftover plants so anyways uh, that's the initial potato harvest here in May of uh, 
2020. Now what I'm going to do is get this ground leveled back out, put amendments in it, and the irrigation lines back down, and get that ready for the sweet potatoes, because I'll put those sweet potatoes in now in May. By October, November, they're ready to go too. And hopefully we'll have a, another good season of sweet potatoes. Anyways, uh, I'll have some more garden updates. As you can see, the blackberries are taking over this side of the garden. It's a jungle. But look at the delicious blackberries that are all over the place. Tremendous. All right, we'll talk to you again in another video update.